uh, to support farmers on the ground. So it is a pleasure to introduce Gary, uh, who's going to talk a little bit about the work that's happening with California FarmLink. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you to Slow Money Northern California for making this opportunity possible. We really appreciate it. Uh, California FarmLink uh, is really pleased to have this opportunity to work with you all today. California FarmLink is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and we're investing in the prosperity of farmers and ranchers. Now, how exactly do we do this? Through education, we invest hundreds of hours in technical assistance, working with primarily farmers of color, women farmers, immigrant farmers. A significant footprint of our work is on the Central Coast, where our headquarters is in Aptos. And uh, we also have regional offices in Sacramento and in the North Bay. So in addition to the technical assistance, we host a series of educational events for smaller groups of farmers. One is our business resilience intensive, which takes farmers through a business resilience self-assessment so they can, we can design the remainder of the course based on their priorities. This fall, we're gonna be launching a farm succession planning intensive with a cohort of farm families that are facing how to design their succession strategies. And uh, we also provide loans, which we'll get to in more depth here in a moment. And finally, access to land has been central to California Farm League's work for 20 years. And we maintain a network of land holders and land seekers all around the state of California. All of our regional staff are equipped to help facilitate lease agreements to open up land access for the next generation of farmers. I'm gonna launch right into our COVID response. Uh, as soon as uh, we saw the uh, cards playing out, um, we established an emergency loan fund. California Farm Lake committed $1 million to distributing to farmers at 0% interest, no payments for six months. These loans are limited to $20,000. Importantly for us, they are non-federal loans, meaning that uh, all the farmers we work with can qualify. We are also took the dive and uh, chose to issue SBA Paycheck Protection Program loans, which has been uh, met with an incredible amount of demand. In fact, we're having a staff meeting later this afternoon to, to uh, help our regional staff understand how we can all contribute to processing farmers' loans when that program uh, comes back online, we believe tomorrow, to try to secure as much support as possible for California farmers in that program. And I also noted our standard loans there, um, just as a basis for comparison, those can go up to $1.7 million. It also includes land loans. So California Farm League, as I mentioned, is a nonprofit. We're also a CDFI, that's a Community Development Financial Institution. And that uh, and it, uh, commits us to serving low-income communities and also enables us to draw certain types of capital. So our loan portfolio, it's been growing consistently over the years. And uh, through March 31st this year, we had dispersed $2.7 million in 28 loans. So we feel like we're on track for our goals this year. Of course, the COVID situation has turned things on and we are um, maintaining, as you see on the slide, balance sheet loans and also um, off balance sheet through our opportunity to the secondary market with Farmer Mac and that enables us to uh, recycle that capital and continue servicing those loans. So our loan fund goals over the next four years are to raise $10.7 million. We are going to uh, focus on bringing in California Farm Lake investment notes. This is a community capital strategy focused on individual investors and companies based in the state of California. And we also, of course, accept grants and gifts that can be in an unrestricted fashion committed to our equity pool to grow our loan uh, pool serving farmers across the state. So just to conclude, California Farm Link is creating a healthy food system. Farmers and ranchers have equitable opportunities to build wealth and conserve natural resources. And again, thank you so much for this opportunity to join you today. Thank you so much, Sherry. That was excellent. I'm going to kick it right over to Kristen uh, with questions to dig in here. 
Um, thank you so much. Thanks, Gary. Um, I have been following this for a while and we're really interested, particularly, I mean, um, farmers are, you know, as you said, you know, they're, they're the found foundation of, you know, everything right now. And um, as we're learning, you know, it turns out we can't live without them even during these crises. So I'm definitely interested in getting them um, well funded and well capitalized. Um, and I'm curious about how you work with undocumented and how that's happening right now through this crisis. Um, what, what do you need to qualify as a farmer to be able to get a loan with you? Well, our programs are designed to underwrite farmers on a very basic measure uh, for starting out, at least, um, in terms of is this a going business? You know, are, are there indications that this um, business has been earning revenue for two or three years? With und undocumented individuals, we're unable to secure federal guarantees, but especially in the Monterey Bay region, we serve a lot of farmers who are undocumented. That's one of the reasons we launched our emergency loan program so swiftly. Um, it has really, um, we're able to do that as an independent lender licensed by the state of California to serve undocumented farmers. And it's very exciting to share that just um, over, and interestingly over six months, but just concluding very uh, recently, we have um, established with a very generous philanthropist, a new guarantee facility of $1 million to guarantee our loan portfolio um, among farmers who are undocumented. I love that. And then just a follow-up question for everybody here. Um, I think you have a really low minimum investment. Can you tell us what that is? Yes, thank you, Kristen. It is a, definitely a community capital strategy that starts at $1,000. Uh, and through the California Farm Lake Investment Notes, our maximum is 150,000. Uh, we are taking in investments from places like New Belgium Family Foundation, uh, the Johnson Ohana Foundation, various community foundations. Those come in in our institutional investor category, uh, which typically starts at a quarter million. Okay, thank you so much. Jonathan? Yeah, Gary, thank, thank you so much for your work. I, I understand a lot of farmers have had issues accessing PPP, so um, it's great to hear that you're on the front lines providing access capital. Um, what are the high level terms of the investment notes for everyone? And, and then also separately, um, what are the capital and financing aside, what are the greatest areas of stress or need that you're seeing amongst the farmers that you work with? Yes, great questions, Jonathan. Our most popular investment note has a seven year term and an annual dividend of 2.25%, two and a quarter. Um, so that, that's our most popular note. Uh, we uh, did actually launch a 20th anniversary note that has a 20 year term at 3%, <laughs> which is, uh, we haven't actually, we'd love to close one of those. <laughs> so in terms of the farm community, a lot of people are needing to pivot their um, labor practices to protect their workers. That has been a big adaptation we've uh, seen. And of course the loss and shift of markets, particularly for farmers who are relying on uh, food service accounts. Thank you so much, Gary, and thank you for those great questions. I think just the, getting the message across that we need to really continue to drive creative tools around um, investment and think of creative ways to get resources where they need to go. Um, so this is a really just great opportunity for that, that lowers the bar for a lot of folks to get involved.